Hello everyone, welcome to the another very important session in which we will be discussing more about the contour integration because in the last session we have talked about the pole, the order of the pole, the residue, the coach's residue theorem and many other important points. Even we have taken or considered some of the examples too. So if you have missed that session, check it out. You will get to know about the details related to contour integration and that is something which is very important to understand contour integration in a better way. So here as you can see the current slide, it's about the latest offer which is going on on Unacademy. It is just valid till 27th July which will be helping you a lot to save more and to save uh, the total subscription amount to get the discount you just have to use and apply the code Anjali A Live as mentioned here on the screen. So if you want to grab it, take the subscription before 27 July and use and apply the code Anjali A Live to grab the offer. Okay. Now one more thing, guys. So many important and new courses will also be starting on An Academy soon. So if you don't want to miss them, you can take your subscription now. Let's go ahead with the discussion. I'll be showing you more slides regarding this uh, just in some time. But now we will be talking about the contour integration part, which we want to cover up in this session right now. So actually, guys, here we will be talking about a form of contour integration that is integration negative infinity to positive infinity fz dz. If you are having any such kind of integration given to you, what are the steps you have to follow? Let me just quickly introduce them. So first thing you will find the pole. But this time there is one thing which is quite different. That is you just have to find the poles which are lying either on the purely real axis or in the upper half of the complex plane. You will not consider any other pole other than the one I'm talking about. The pole which is lying on the purely real axis or in the upper half of the complex plane. So even if you will say, okay, I got 1000 as a pole, just 1000. So will I be considering it? Yes, it's a purely real, okay? If you will get 500 plus 1000 iota, so yes, you will be considering that too. If you are getting uh, 200 iota, that's purely imaginary. Yes, you will be considering it too. But nothing in the lower half of the complex plane. So if you got negative 10 iota, will you consider? No, because it's in the negative half. Okay, so we will not consider it. We will just consider the poles lying in the purely on the purely real axis or in the upper half of the complex plane. Okay. Now, after you will get the pole, you have to find the residue on those poles depending on their order. For finding the residue, what formula I've talked about in the last session, they are same. Now, if you are going to reach to the final step, then you are going to consider, here is a twist, 2 pi iota into sum of residue for the imaginary as well as complex numbers. Imaginary poles you got or the complex numbers you will have, for them you will be considering this 2 pi iota into sum of residue but if let's say there is also some purely real pole you got so with that residue you will just have to take pi iota so this is just for the purely real pole right and that's how you are going to consider it this is your total integration value you got now here is a trick as well i would like you to know so that is integration 0 to infinity dz over 1 plus z to the power n where n will be what? That will be greater than 1. And in this case, what will happen? It's going to be when n is greater than 1, your trick says you will have to consider the answer for this integration as pi by n cosec pi by n. That's it. You can directly answer it. Even sometimes if it happens that you are having something else other than 1 here, so you will try to make it uh, like the similar form for that expression to apply the trick. So this is how even you can do, like you can take that term common, try to make the similar form, some other power n you can have there means whatever greater than one, then you will apply the trick. Okay, that's how you can do it. Other than this, also be careful about the limit we are going to have here. This will be helping you a lot to save your time and to get the answer quickly and easily in the exam. Other than this, the other form you need to know about is integration 0 to 2 pi d theta over a plus b cos theta. Okay. So when you are going to have this in this situation, what we will try to do, we will try to convert it into the integration over C F Z D Z. Now in this situation, what we have to do, we will be replacing D theta with D Z over iota Z 
we will be replacing cos theta with 1 over 2 z plus 1 over z we will be replacing if we will have sine theta in the denominator instead of cos theta we will be replacing it with the 1 over 2 iota z minus 1 over z okay that's what you are gonna do now once you have got to know about these things and once you made those changes you are gonna replace your integration limit with the integration over c where c is a contour that is a unit circle now what we mean by unit circle unit circle means a circle having the center at the origin and the radius one unit so that's what we mean by the unit circle now once you have considered this part and you have made all these changes so your function here will be just the function of z dz and that's it you made it same as what we have talked about the basic contour integration based questions the one we talked about in our previous session on contour integration in the same series which is part two success so if you are the one who wants to follow the sessions in the part two success series for your csir net and the gate physics exam you can subscribe this channel that is mission net physics exam and also click on the bell icon to get the notifications for all the videos i'll be uploading in this series for your upcoming exams i hope guys it's clear also we are going to have a trick related to this part as well which is integration 0 to 2 pi d theta over a plus b cos theta that is equal to that is equal to 2 pi divided by square root a square minus b square simply even if you will have sine theta there in the denominator it will remain same here the condition is a should be greater than b which is the magnitude of a magnitude of b and it should be greater than b as well as a and b both should be greater than zero that's the trick okay guys so that's what you have to consider now after knowing about these two things the third thing is you can expect the questions based on the open contour let me just tell you the steps related to that too let's say you got a question related to open contour in that case you assume it to be closed okay you assume it to be closed contour for example they have given you that only the contour you have to consider is i'll show you with a different color the blue color one the excess is not involved there so that will be considered as open contour because the excess the black color one is not involved in that situation we assume it to be closed means we consider like okay this is also involved we'll try to find the pole on uh, for that function then corresponding residue then we will break the integration in two parts for example it's an anti-clockwise direction this is minus one this is plus one so integration from minus one to plus one one thing we will consider the other we will has integration over c so this is how you are going to break it into two parts whatever you got as per the coach's residue theorem by considering the pole there whatever questions we had till now that was giving us the overall residue to be zero no pole is there so it is going to be if in case zero shifted on the other side you get the answer for the integration over c which is the open contour case we had tell me if in case there is anything not getting clear to you or anything uh, it's confusing for you you can just surely mention any doubt in the comments let me know what you are going to like more about the session the discussion we are going to do and all of that part we will be considering it okay and if everything is getting clear that's great i'll be taking the questions based on these points guys what we have covered here in the next session now so you should keep on watching these important sessions okay they will surely be helping you now let's keep it this much today in the session and i hope all the different type of questions which you can expect from contour integration they are all clear to you but in case if you will have any question query or doubt you can just let me know about it we will discuss it in our upcoming sessions i'll try to have one of the doubt clearing sessions depending on how many doubts you're gonna have while i try to make everything clear to you with the discussion in the same session but still if you will have so many doubts we will consider it a doubt clearing session as well along with like these discussion sessions here okay so guys as you know right now the latest offer which is going on on an academy which will help you to save more and all the details about it you can have a look at this uh, screen right now this is helping you to get the great discount in the total subscription amount the offer is just valid till 27th july and you just have to use and apply the code anjali a live to grab this offer so don't miss it grab this offer and start your preparation under the guidance of top educators today 
also guys in upcoming days so many new courses by the top educators will be starting on an academy so don't miss those important sessions and the well structured and well planned courses as well now let's talk about that part that what are the benefits you will get if you will take the Unacademy plus iconic or the light subscription if you will take plus or iconic subscription you will also be able to get the important notes okay uh, uh in the Unacademy learning app along with that what are the benefits you will get if you will take the plus iconic or the light subscription all that has been shown here even if you are taking Unacademy plus Unacademy iconic or the light subscription you will be getting the discount by using and by applying the code Anshali A Live as mentioned here on the screen. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end. Stay tuned for the more sessions in the part 2 success series. The questions based on this part, what I have discussed today will be in the next session. So yeah, you can check out all these important sessions. Step by step, try to be regular in the discussion part and don't miss anything we are talking about okay that will be helping you a lot and keep on doing the regular revision thank you everyone and share the information about this offer with your friends too if there is someone who wants to take the subscription let them know about the offer so that they will be able to save more as well thank you everyone